Hi, my name's Jess and I'm the second half of the Scrappy Sisters. Thank you to Jackie from Scrappaholics Anonymous for this great idea. So I'm going to be making pinwheels or rosettes out of patty pans. Um, basically you just cut the base out and that is a scrap and the rest is easily done from there. So first of all I'm going to just have a quick chat about my diamond press because I'm super excited and I only just got it on the weekend. So you need to have everything go through those plastic folders so it can be longer but it can't be fatter because there are longer folders that you can get for it. I was also really impressed with what could go through. I could put cork through and I could put this thick glitter card so that was really exciting. I wasn't sure if it would only take the more scrapbook style paper. The suction is a little bit dodgy. I imagine if you put a little bit of water on the base it would suction a bit better but I never even bothered to suction it anyway. It doesn't get that wobbly to begin with so I don't find it as a problem. So here I am using a few little words. I don't actually have any tiny word stamps so what I did was I had a sticker there that had a saying on it and it really wasn't a saying that I would use so I cut up the words off the saying and put them together to make my own sentence and it was far more usable for me because they were about travel and I don't really go anywhere. Um, so just cutting out some glitter love hearts and again I'm talking about how the diamond press does um, cut into the plastic there and it does sort of make it bend a little bit all of that's completely normal and don't be too worried if that happens if you get a diamond press because it's supposed to and you can buy replaceable folders for those. I decided that heart was too small so I'm going to cut through another one again with my diamond press and it's going to be a larger size and I think that will fit better. Yes, looks much better. And here I am explaining that you can do longer things and more intricate detail things in your diamond press and then again the cork just as long as it's not too fat. Um, so just putting on some foam dots there and away we go. So there's my first rosé or pinwheel, whatever you like to call them. So the next one I'm going to make, I was just pre-cutting a few hearts so that I could throw away the scrap. So the next one I'm going to make, I'm going to use a pink petty pan. So again, just cutting out the base and I think I'm going to use a little bit of cork on this one. Yeah, so I'm going to put a cork centre. Now, as I said before, the cork is harder to get through. I'm really quite forcing it through there. Um, and then I did it again, and then it pops out. The diamond press is sturdy. Don't be too worried if you're forcing it through. It's totally going to be fine. Um, so, yep, just, you can't really see. I'm really sorry about that. But I just kind of scrunched all the centre in together and then just stuck the circle on top. No drama. And then my decorations as I would like to. So oh, I just put another pink heart on top so it all sort of ties in together. And I find that the double sided tape doesn't stick that well to the cork so I did use PVA glue. And now on to a blue one. Oh, I was going to use an already pre-done centre, but I decided I didn't like the yellow on the blue. It was just a little bit too bright for me. So going back to my glitter with my card. Now, you can't really tell there, but I actually had a little bit of the card sticking out the corner of the plastic folder. And I really had to shove it through. It's better if you can make sure that the paper fits in that plastic folder. It's just a little bit easier to put it through the diamond press. Um, just fiddling to make sure I've got all the edges as even as possible. I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I like my work to be relatively neat and symmetrical, unlike my sister. So I really spent a bit of time on that blue one. It was really quite close to my face because I was getting a bit frustrated with it. I really want it to be even. So I was really just sort of fiddling with those little bits to even it out there. Uh, I decided I wanted a word on this one that was actually an already done word. So just going through my box of embellishments there and a little sticker. Oh, I still really like that flower. I probably should have done that flower, but I didn't end up using it. I ended up going with a butterfly because I thought that was cute. Um, it's so, I, I actually find I have too many embellishments and it starts to get really tricky to decide what looks the best. So... I thought um, I didn't want that bright one because it was a little bit too bright for me. 
uh, so I just went for a little more subtle colour. And again, putting some foam dots on the today to have it, give it a little bit of dimension. I do find anything sticking onto that glitter doesn't stick that well, so I would go with the PVA more often than not. Um, red one now, haven't done a red one yet, so this time I'm just using a circle, not a um, flowered edge, and I actually cut the glitter down this time so it only fit exactly inside the pouch so I didn't have to shove it through so hard. And again, scrunching all up in the center. This one really reminds me of a rose, like a, a winning, a first prize thing on it. And I didn't actually like that. I didn't want it to look like that. So I was really aware of what kind of embellishments I put onto this one to make sure it looked cuter, not like a winner, winner. Um, Oh, I handmade those arrows as well that you just got a sneak peek of there, but it really didn't go on the embellishment, so I didn't end up using it. I've tried a couple of different DIY things. I tried to do some DIY enamel dots. They really didn't work. Oh, look, I've got that flower back. I really want to try and use that flower. I just think it's gorgeous, but nope, I end up with a butterfly again. Uh, so again, gluing it on. I just don't find the double-sided tape sticks to that glitter. And again, some foam dots to um, put on the magical. Now I'm going to do a pink one. I've been trying to do a little bit of pink things at the moment because I'm making a flip book for a new friend. And she's really into pinks and girly. So I want to try and make a few little special goodies, especially with her in mind. I'm not really a massive pink person, but I would love to do some special things for her. So that little crown there is actually a button. Um, I don't even know where that came from. I picked it up somewhere along the way and I've been waiting for just the right time to use it. And I just thought it looked gorgeous on that um, pinwheel. So I've finally found the right place that I can use it for and I'm really happy with that. Oh, on this one as well, I was finding the back didn't quite have enough sticky. So I actually put on a little bit of extra sticky. And then it kept sticking to the table, <laughs> as it does. So I cut a new circle to go onto the base. Um, I just moved my camera a little bit there. Kind of easier, kind of harder to see, sorry. Um, and when I started doing, I, I did that for a few of them, putting a base on the back. It was a much better idea. So I'm going to go and um, with all of the other pinwheels, I'm going to cut just a second circle out of anything. It does not matter because it's going on the back. Just what ever scrap you have and stick that onto the back it just will hold the patty pan in place a bit better I was um, having a fiddle there with the layout of how I should put on the crown and the word and I've just gone for the old trusty and exactly the same as the other two crown off to the left word off to the right I'm clearly not overly adventurous with my layout designs there so please if anyone else has ideas let me know uh, I'd already found some stickers when I was looking through my embellishment kit and I really wanted to try and use these purple stickers if I could on the next um, pinwheel. So I'm just packing up a little bit. I find I'm not very good at being messy. I like things neat and tidy so I just was putting away a few of the die cuts there. Uh, so, oh, I was really happy with this colour that I'm using for the base. It's almost exactly the same as the patty pan colour which I just thought was gorgeous. Um, and because the stickers I wanted to use were a bit of a purpley colour, I didn't want it to be too different. I liked that the base was a really similar colour because the embellishments will stand out a little bit more. So again, just fiddling around with the edges there to really make sure it sticks on nicely. And I'm going to pop a little gold heart on top of the other heart, really scruffing it up. I love using the patty pans to make these pinwheels because I don't have a scorer at home, a scoring board. So this way I don't have to make sure each of the folds are perfect because they're already done, which is just amazing. So again, I don't have the tiny words. So here I'm cutting up a sentence off one of those stickers to use um, and I've backed it onto the same colour as what the circle was. Uh, and it's just, yeah, I was just really happy with being able to use, finally use those stickers by cutting them up a little bit. One of my cupcake pans had eat more cake on the bottom of them and I just thought that was so cool I wanted to try and use it if I could 
So because it's a patty pan, it's really quite thin paper. I'm just backing it onto a plain white cardstock just to make it a little bit um, stronger to use. And I'm going to make one last rosé or pinwheel with this Eat More Cake in the centre as it's the centre dot. And I was planning on using one of the colours, but I ended up using the exact one that Eat More Cake came from. So I've still got another Eat More Cake sitting there waiting to be used next time. But I've just put it in my embellishment scrap container and I can use it for something else along the way. So scrunching them all together, putting my Eat More Cake dot in the centre, just fiddling around with the edges to make it as nice and even as I can. And I could just leave it like that, and I wondered if I was going to, but then I had a thought that I might like to put a word on it. So I got some word stickers out, um, and just that plain white piece of cardstock again. I was looking at the different colours that the words came in in case I wanted to use a blue or a pink, but just went with white. I was happy with the white. And I've got my yum. And now I... Um, Cut it out as a little bit of a flag but decided it was too big so when you put it on it just was right in your face and that's not quite the look I was going for so I'm just cutting it down a little bit to make it just a little bit smaller and a little bit skinnier um, and yeah then again I mounted on the foam and I was really happy with how that turned out and I can't wait to be able to use that um, in my next flip book or in my project life album or I might even share some with my sister and she can put some on her 12 by 12s can't wait to actually show you how we use some of these pinwheels in the future again I was just sticking some of those back down because I haven't put the backs on them yet and I definitely would put the backs on them when you do it yourself at home and I was just so happy with the way they turned out I think they're just gorgeous so Hopefully you enjoy this video and hopefully you have a go of making some rosettes or pinwheels yourself. If you make a video or a blog post, please let us know down below so that we can check it out as well. Until next time, see you later.